dugout with Sammy Solis. Here's Dan Coco. Dan? Thank you very much, Johnny. Sammy, kind enough to join me here in the dugout. Uh, Sammy, let's go back to before last season when the Nationals kind of made the decision to switch you from a starter, which you had been your entire career prior to that, to a reliever. How did you initially react to that news, and how did that uh, kind of transformation, so to speak, go for you? Uh, honestly, at first, I wasn't too happy about it. Just going out of my comfort zone, you know, 25 years as a starter, um, now all of a sudden, hey, you know, go be a reliever at the highest level. Um, it was it was definitely a change and a huge transition. Um, last year was kind of a learning time for me, but I would say that now I've made I've made the full circle and, and now I'm a reliever. Now you you had topped out previous to moving to the bullpen at double A and then last year double A triple A major leagues. Um, what was that process like for you kind of moving up quicker than you had uh, as a starter. It was it was crazy just because I have more major league innings than I do double A innings, which is <laughs> which is crazy. So I got two outings as a reliever in double A. They called me up and, and said go do it and, and uh, thankfully it's worked out so far. What's been the toughest part of that uh, move for you? Um, I would say getting loose. That's the biggest thing as a starter. You have 30 minutes and you have your whole routine. Now it's, hey, you got the next hitter. You got seven or eight pitches to get going and then you're in the game. So that was definitely the hardest thing, but I think I've fully adjusted now. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day. You, you would say that you'd, you'd go from like 30 pitches in, in the past to now you're down to like seven or eight. How have you, is that just a, a matter of going through the process more and your arm adjusting how yeah. is that kind of going I think it's more routine now now it's it's you know heated up right away before I was starting with some lobs and and the guys really gave me a hard time with it they'd count my pitches and I'd be at 35 sometimes and they say man you got to really dial it back here it's a long season and relieving's a lot different so so now I'm about eight to ten pitches in the pen and then I go in and I'm ready to roll save those bullets for a yes, long exactly. season too uh, so your your stuff velocity wise kind of sat what 93 94 with the fastball as a starter now you're up you're, you're hitting 96 uh, yesterday coming in in relief um, What's the adjustment there in terms of the, the fastball having more life and maybe needing to uh, figure out how, how to use that? I guess it's just a little less wear and tear as a reliever. I mean, it's it's not too hard to throw hard every day, but but if you're, if you're doing it for 15 pitches, no problem. But when you're doing it for 110 pitches, obviously it's a lot different. So that's been a little bit of an adjustment for me is, is lighting up the radar gun a little bit more um, than I did before. I was always a 90 to 93 guy as a starter, and now seeing 96, even 97 up there, it's pretty exciting and a lot of fun. Now, yesterday, Dusty kind of tossed you into the fire there. Seventh inning, high leverage situation against a very potent Cardinals lineup. Uh, do you... It, it, does the situation get to you at all, or is it just this is another inning, this is the team that I'm facing, and I, I got to get the job done? Obviously, I think it all comes into play. You know, the the crowd, it's it's a packed place, a lot of baseball savvy fans here, so you know you're getting yelled at the whole time, and it's a big situation. I was just happy that Dusty had enough faith in me to, to call me into the game and and let me you know perform and do what I do, and and uh, you know I've I've been doing it uh, thankfully all season and hopefully continue to. Big picture, obviously, uh, you your goal coming up through the minors is to make it to the major leagues and you know high draft pick and you probably had those expectations for yourself for you to get here and to now have it be your second season getting some big league time and to have some success in big spots what's the satisfaction level in that uh, it's it's unbelievable this is the end game really just being in the big leagues and and it took longer than I would have liked uh, you know because of a few injuries but but now I'm here and I'm healthy and I'm just ready to contribute to this awesome team thanks for the time Sammy we appreciate it thank you